Hi, welcome to Cooking Blind. This is a show where a friend of mine and I will learn how to make a specific dish but with a catch. A friend of mine who is cooking alongside with me has no idea what we're making so it's up to me to try my best to remember as much of the recipe I can because we're not allowed to refer to the recipe while the both of us are cooking. Because Christmas is around the corner <laughs> Wait <laughs> Okay <laughs> Because Christmas is around the corner, today we are making reindeer macaroons and the friend who is teaching me how to make that is my friend Poishan. Hello. Let me get this off first. Okay. Starting to hurt my neck. Poishan, would you like to introduce yourself to the camera, to the audience? Okay. Um, I am Poishan. Uh, I'm a culinary student and I'm going to teach him how to make macaroons today. Yeah, Poishan is from culinary. I'm not, I'm from NASCOM, that's, that's, why, uh, that's why we need her today. <laughs> Have you made macaroons before? Yes. From a scale of 1 to 10, how difficult is making macaroons? If you don't bake a lot, I, I think an 8. Because they're very fussy and they're very technical. Fussy and technical, yeah. okay. Yeah. That is perfect for today because <laughs> we love fussy and technical in cooking blind. Poishan is the recipe holder for today. Poishan's gonna teach me how to make them and she's gonna teach me how to make the macaroons verbally. I'll start with the macaroon shell, which okay. is probably the most finicky one. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You will need a hundred egg whites. Hundred egg whites? Hundred hundred grams of egg whites, sorry. <laughs> 30 grams caster sugar, 230 grams of icing sugar, 125 grams of almond powder, and finally 10 grams of cocoa powder. We heat the almond. 140 140, 140 Celsius. Whip the egg whites with the salt until it's like a little bit foamy. Mm -hmm. Then you start adding the sugar gradually. Caster sugar. Caster sugar. So, so that means we're gonna add the 30 grams of caster sugar, right? Yeah. Okay, got it. You don't want to overbeat it. Incorporate too much air, like your macaroons will crack. Oh. If we just lift it, we can actually lift it over your head and won't drop. Oh, on your, okay. Yeah. Alright, we'll, we'll do that test later. Receive your dry ingredients into like your meringue. The folding is probably the most crucial part. Knock out air, but not too much air. Knock out air? But not too much but air. But not too much air. I do this, and then I cut in the middle. I think the best way to test for the right consistency. Put it over like, your head? No, yeah, hey. please don't do <laughs> okay. it. Sometimes you know like when you lift better, it like... Oh, but, yeah. okay. So like it's a steady stream but it's not too runny. Okay. So like when you go slowly, you can draw an 8 without it breaking. It's called the figure 8 test. Just put the mixture into the piping bag. With piping bag? Just pipe. Circles. But the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna tap it like this, like, like aggressively. aggressively. Just make sure there are no air bubbles because like that's gonna make the macaroons crack too. The next thing you do is let them dry. You can actually like touch the surface. You can actually run your finger through the surface without your finger getting... Oh! Wet. The next thing is uh, the ganache. Oh yeah, I forgot to point out you should start with this first because oh. like it needs a little bit time to thicken. Equal parts milk and cream. Okay. 62, 62. 18 grams of egg yolk. But I think that's about one egg yolk. 90 grams of chocolate. Just like chopped chocolate. You just agar agar la the peppermint extract. Add the cream, milk and the egg yolk to a pot. Heat it to 72. Keep whisking it. After it reaches 72, you just pour it into the chocolate. Once it boils your <laughs> yeah, then you just leave it for a bit. After that, you can whisk it really because it melted. Cling wrap it. Oh, that means like stick to yeah, the Yeah, like oh, the huh? cling wrap it has to be in contact with the ganache. Uh, then put it in the freezer. Uh, the next thing is the chocolate deco. You just melt it down. And then you just put it in a piping bag. And then you just... Oh, so this is just uh, the, the chocolate and decorate it yeah. however we, we think a reindeer looks like. La. Yeah, the next thing you have to do is the royal icing. Oh. For the eyes and the nose. You can just add like two or three spoons of icing sugar then okay. you just add drops of water to make it thick okay um that explains the texture it looks like a paste how it's gonna be is like two macaroons the filling and then like the two endless will be in the filling if you know what i mean like to hold it up okay so that's the entire recipe yeah. hopefully we don't get anything wrong once tj's and i are done making the macaroons poishan will be the judge She's gonna judge our performance based on how how well we, we performed. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you later. Let's head to the kitchen. Hey everyone, this is uh, We're in the Kitchen. This is TJ's. Before we begin, TJ's, feel free to introduce yourself to the audience if this is the first time they're seeing you on camera. Go ahead, the show is yours. My name is TJ's. 
That, that's all? That's all. Okay, so okay. Uh, yeah, so I, I heard this this is a Christmas special. So Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ho ho ho. Happy ho, ho, ho. New Year. This is a low budget Christmas Christmas Lo decor. Low budget lads. Yeah, you should understand. We are middle it's class. Like sponsor us lah. I would say that we are pretty close already. You could say that. Before we begin, you have no idea what we're making, right? Yes, I have no idea. Side note, I've only made Maggie before. We're about to make something that is not Maggie. Even I haven't made this before. It's a first for us. Okay. And we're about to learn something today. Okay. The first episode, we're doing baking. And we're doing something very technical. Basically, what I'm saying is, if we fail one, one part of the dish, we're basically screwed up. <laughs> Okay, oh, fingers crossed. Everything is gonna be based on how much I can remember from what Poishan taught me just now. The first thing we have to do, we need a pot. Whipping cream into the pot, 62 grams or 62 ml. Wait, how many? <coughs> 62. Oh, 62. I will keep an eye on the scale, okay? So, yeah, just, just pour. Ooh, okay, a little bit more. More? Okay. Ah! 64. It's 64, okay. It's 64, okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No, it's 66. It's... How is it changing? Okay. And now we need milk. Okay. We need milk. Right. Where do we get a cow? It's not even open yet. So this is a fresh it's super fresh. Milk. That's what he means. Straight from the cow. Okay. Straight from Alright, 62. Yeah. Okay. okay, pause. 63. 63. Okay, okay. I, I think that's okay. We Now we need 18, uh, 18 to 20 grams of egg yolk. The person who separated egg yolks with egg whites. We have parental issues, bro. We come together. Oh, that's perfectly 18. That's 18. It's perfectly it's 18. Perfectly 18. It's 18 grams of egg yolk, but I think that's about one egg yolk. We need 40 grams. Hey, 90 grams, 90 grams, 90 grams. 90. Yo, it so, looks looks like Cadbury chocolate. I buy those kung fu fighting. So every time when my mother cooks chicken curry, this is what she'll ask me to do. Do the onions like this, do the onion like that. Oh. Oh. Dude, I can be a professional chef. Call Gordon Ramsay, dude. I've only made Maggie before. It has to be 72 degrees Celsius before we can put it in there. The guys come to fighting. Cook, ha, cook. You guys ever cook and sing before? You know, like cook and dance. Like in the movies, you know? They'll dance like. Almost at 70? Almost at 70? Is it 72? 71.3. 71. 71.74. So right now we have to pour it in. Now we have to add peppermint extract. The whole kitchen already smells like toothpaste already. So just a few drops. Okay, oh! <laughs> Got it, Theo? Ganache. And we, we've tasted it. It tasted okay, right? Yeah, it tasted okay. Yeah. Now what we have to do is we have to put this in the fridge to cool, to chill. Right now, what we're going to make is the the main part of this this dish. That's, okay. Wait, that was not even the main part. This is cocoa powder, caster sugar, egg whites, almond flour. We're going to use almond flour. This, this is the first time I'm using almond flour for anything. Okay, the scale is on. Put it in there. Bad jokes. Okay, kids don't watch this. Yeah, I feel like Iron Man, dude. Right now, we need 100 grams of egg whites. So sad we got the yolk there. Uh, oh, this is just wow. 60 grams. This is 60. Okay, stop first. Ah! 107. 107. It's okay. Caster sugar. Caster sugar. We need 30 grams of this. Should be okay. 27. 27. Let's go a bit. God's playing with us right now. It's literally saying 29. Like, how much do we put to get one more? Oh, we got one more! We have another bowl over here. And we're gonna measure out the, the other dry ingredients, which mm -hmm. is the almond flour. And we need one, 125, 125 grams of 125. almond flour. Okay. okay, you do the honors. Maybe a little bit more. Oh yeah, I know what to do. Next, we have to add icing sugar. We need one... Uh, we need 230. 230 of this. Oh, that's a lot. Okay, okay nice. Oh, cocoa powder, we need 10 grams. 10 grams? 10 grams. Oh my god. It's just a little bit of cocoa powder. Nice. 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 That's 10 grams. We've measured out all the ingredients. Let's put this aside first. We have to beat the egg whites. Yeah. TJS is really excited to do this, so I'm gonna give him the order to do it, okay? As you're whisking it, I'm gonna gradually add the sugar inside, okay? I am the Terminator! Yo, this is quite anticlimactic though. I was hoping for a splash. The egg whites have been whipped into a stiff peaks. Theodore's giving us a close-up shot. Now, just to double confirm that this consistency is correct, right? Uh, basically, if I turn it over and... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I'm actually not, not, not tall enough. Basically, it should not fall on top of my head. Wait, you do it, you do it. Okay, 
So next, this is gonna make Uncle Roger so mad, but luckily we're not making rice. Okay, we need to sift the dry ingredients into the wet ingredients. Ooh, looks like balls. Okay, I'm gonna add more. Yeah, boy, that's the thing. That's okay. the stuff. This is very crucial for this. Please laugh, no present. My next challenge, Gordon Ramsay. Like this? So if we don't do like that, up. Right. How do you feel at this point? Exhausted! You know what I am cooking, better be worthwhile, you know? Continue folding and cutting. Oh. Seems the same to me. Almost there. Almost there. You know how many almost there you told? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still almost there. I don't like Melanie's reaction. <laughs> She's like, okay, 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 okay. The batter for the shells is done already. So basically, this is the consistency that we're at. <laughs> this is the tree. This is Poishan's piping bag, and we're gonna use it today. Just scrape it on the side of the cup. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Maggie should sponsor us. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Take a look at that. Looks that. Okay. that looks lit. That looks lit. This looks like we're about to do something serious. Yeah. Something's coming out, alright. That means, that means we did a good job. Yeah. 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 Okay. I've never done this before, so I'm just gonna. Um, this is more like a poo poo. Mine is legit a poo poo. <laughs> squeeze, squeeze. Yeah, yeah. squeeze. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It's still coming out like a poo poo. Okay, okay. This is what we do. We're gonna start here and slowly let it go. The cookie, I swear. If it's, if it's a cookie, right, it's gonna be super weird. But the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna tap it. <laughs> yeah, exactly like that. Exactly like that. Okay, so the shells have dried out already. We, we've given them enough time to dry out. If they are dry enough, we can actually touch them. It's yeah. really nice to touch. See? I can yeah. touch this they, all day. They have day. formed a, a, a skin. They are ready to go in the oven. 140 degrees Celsius. Let's pop them in. It's not hot as me, but it's hot. La. It's not as hot as me. Right now, this, this right here. These are compound chocolate. If you guys want to know what's the difference, between compound chocolate and normal dark chocolate is we don't have the answer for that yep. we're mm -hmm. gonna make the decorations as we wait for the the shells to bake this is the only ingredient that we're gonna use oh, yes. okay i think you can turn the stove on first this is the part i know most how do you know when the water boils is when the bubbles come out because i'm great at doing maggie i am king of maggie this goes on top the chocolate has melted already. What we're gonna do now, because it's Christmas season, ho 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 ho, we're gonna ho, decorate ho, 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 ho. them as reindeers. Yo, we're gonna do reindeer. We're going to uh, use the chocolate to draw the antlers of the reindeer over here. Wait for them to harden, and once they harden, it's safe to pick up, and then we can stick them into the macaroons, and okay. they will be reindeer shaped. We have two parchment papers over here. You can do one, and I can do one. Okay. Do you saw the, the muffin that I crashed just now? That's my heart. By the way, that's not a muffin. Okay. <laughs> the macaron. <laughs> Uncultured swine. I'm gonna cut a very small hole. Oh. Mine is a bull. It's like antenna already. And you know what? If you have extra space, just design whatever you want. Is that your signature? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go for a different shape now. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is what? that like the map of Malaysia or something? That was me in my mother's stomach. <laughs> <laughs> We've piped the chocolate decorations. They're hardening in the fridge. The macaroons should be done already. So let's let's take them out. It's All right. hotter than me. <laughs> this this one is a it's a happy accident. For the icing, we need icing sugar, which is over there. Sugar, yes please. The icing is icing sugar and water. So I'm gonna just gradu gra gradually add water into this, and you're gonna stir. Oh okay. The icing is done and now we have to colour the icing. TJ, let's separate the icing into these three bowls over here. Maybe one scoop over here. Alright. You can do the violet one. How? <laughs> I didn't even touch. I'm gonna do the red one. But I really like the colour. I love purple colour. Basically, we have four colours. Black, purple, red mm, and white. white. What are you gonna use the purple for? I really don't know, I just like purple. Maybe you can make a purple... Sunglasses. I'm so creative. <laughs> I suck at creativity. These are the macros. They're all cool to the touch already. These are the decorations that we've made using chocolate. Now it's time to assemble them. The ganache is a little bit frozen. <laughs> this is so weird. I think the ganache is too frozen already. You know how Monday morning goes, man. <laughs> they just sandwich it together. 
Okay, yeah. We got our very first macro. Uh, that's that's the first one. May not be the the most presentable one, but we'll get the hang of it along the way. <laughs> yeah, just like that. Yeah. Maybe. Okay. It's beautiful. These are the macarons that we've made. We've sandwiched them together. Two shells in between peppermint ganache over there. Not, not half bad. I would rate them 10 out of 10. Good job, good job. I've never okay. seen them before. Yeah. But okay. we're not done yet, yeah. okay? Because we still have the icing and the decorations which we're gonna take these chocolate decorations and we're gonna sandwich them between like that. Ah! Okay, there we go. Oh, nice, nice. You, you're giving it legs. Yeah. Wait, wait, the biting back burst. You're doing the white one? Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Oh my god. No. No. What the f? Clearly, I suck. I'm gonna give all of the remaining ones red noses. They look like clowns. <laughs> I'm gonna give this a mouth. That's so small mouth. <laughs> hey. And that look possessed. Yeah. <laughs> nice job, TJ's. The both of us are gonna go clean up a little bit right now, and after that, Poishan is gonna come in, taste our creation, and give us a score. It was nice speaking with you. Yeah, man. And uh, let's go wash up, and we'll be back really soon. Okay, so basically we're done. This is what we've made. <laughs> These are these are the macaroons, the reindeer macaroons. They what, what, what do you think? How how do you think we did PJs? Extraordinary. These are the failed ones. Uh, without further ado, let's let's give a warm welcome to our judges today, Kuishan and Melanie. Alright, come in, come in. Right. Plus, our hands are getting tired. When when you look at these, what's your first impression? Look at this first and then look at the other. <laughs> Do you want me to be honest or chaotic? Huh? All these are chaotic, but this one is nicer. We have six chaotic ones, mm. and we have one acceptable yeah. one. <laughs> oh, I feel bad for saying this, but... Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Both of them have judged our work based on the appearance. Mm. Now, they're gonna judge it based on the taste. Before we eat, let's cheers, guys. Okay, okay three, Merry two, Christmas, one. Okay. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas okay? And let's, 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 let's dig in. Hmm. Yeah, that's good. It's kind of different from the original <laughs> one, but the taste is really nice. I really like the taste. For what I think you guys did a really good job with the filling. It's very smooth, very rich, very nice. Oh. I expected you guys to scramble it, but you didn't. Mm. So like the shells, are, they are a bit softer than the conventional <clears throat> one. If our viewers want to make macaroons and they want to avoid this mistake, what recommendation would you give them? The most crucial part is the whipping of the egg whites and the folding. It takes a lot of trial and error, uh, macaroons. High five! Boom! You should start the like, um, history business. What would you give it? 1 to 10. 6 because you did pretty great. Oh, the first time, what like 7? No, the first time when she told she was like 4, 4, 4. <laughs> okay, 10, 10! <laughs> 100! Hey, thank you so much for teaching us this recipe and you know, sharing your opinions, judging our work. I think the both of us did a good job. Mm. Let's high five, high five. All of us did a good job. <laughs> to the three of you, do you want to say anything to the audience? Merry Christmas. Ho ho ho! I hope that all of you enjoyed this first episode of cooking blind. Hopefully there will be more episodes lah. Okay, yeah. This is just maybe a trial episode and if you guys enjoy it, make sure you like the video and share the video Share the video because all of them did a very a very tiring job today. It's very tiring We guys. were filming from morning, from morning and it's now 5pm. It's 5. So make sure to like this video and share it okay. Do comment that. down below if you want to see TJ's make Maggie. Make sure to comment down below on how you think we did. You guys can also give us a score from 1 to 10 okay. Let us know your opinions. We want to hear from you guys okay. By the appearance yeah. I think we won't go above 10 but it's yeah. okay. It's okay. Sadly you guys can't taste it yeah, but you can see how they look. Yeah. Like. And if you have any future ideas that you want to see on Cooking Blind, let us know down below as well okay. This has been Cooking Blind episode 1. Reindeer macaroons. Take care, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time. Merry Christmas!